Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, round two, Super Motocross National, the freaking playoffs, baby. We're here at another Speedway in Joliet, right outside of Chicago. We used to do NASCAR here. We got dirt bikes here this weekend, no choice, baby. This is gonna be cool. This is like a throwback, grass start. Are we at Dilla 73 or are we at SMX 2023? I love it. No split start this weekend. Nice flat left-handed little sweeping turn. I'm not sure what this is. I don't think it's a joker lane, but that's kind of what it looks like. We got a lane off to the side. Maybe they're going there off the start. For the rest of the lap, we got a nice little double-double. Should be fun, actually. A couple of floaters. They're nice and safe landings, too, for the super minis that we're going to have today. Then we're into the bridge. Straight vertical. Yeah, down the back side of the bridge. We got a little option single. If you're freaking insane like Hayden Deegan, you might go from bridge to single. I don't know. We got her nice and plowed up through here. We kind of got a grass section here in the infield. This Midwest dirt is going to be nice. It's always good. The outdoor tracks around here should rut up, get kind of kind of rough too. A lot more outdoorsy than last weekend. Little ass turn. We got a bull turn. We didn't see any of that last weekend. Then we got a, then we got an obstacle. I think I myself could tame into the finish line. We'll get a look at this thing. Finish line's a little bit beefier this week. Solid landing here. This would be a fun one, honestly. They got it pretty wet too, even for the Friday today. Another option single. Got some sawdust, grass, Midwest mixture combo into another little inside outside we got some berm action there got some singles to upset the suspension these guys ain't gonna know what to do through here probably not gonna be much flow through that section another inside roller should have some inside outside action this weekend dirt's gonna be a little better i think a little more rutted another grass probably gonna get choppy through that straight away and yet another inside outside we got sand down there inside outside split through the sand moguls probably gonna get pretty gnarly through there maybe a good spot for some passing into another grass this is like throwback day into more grass this is like throwback daytona vibes i like the looks of this should shape up nicely another flat turn hopefully it ruts up good into some more singles they could probably get a little bit of rhythm through there maybe double double single wheel tap action i don't know We'll see here shortly. Out of the non-rhythm section into a little flat turn. There were some, what looked like supercross whoops on the track map. They appear to be more outdoor rollers. They got them plowed up too. This dirt is pretty solid. It looks like really fun dirt to shred right about now. I'm liking the looks of this. We got it plowed up, nice and saturated. This weekend's looking a lot more like outdoors than Supercross, if I may say so myself. Should get gnarly through here. Good spot for some passing too, if people make some mistakes. Good spot for me to trip over dirt cloth, no choice. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, it's starting to seem like this weekend would have been better for the 65s and last weekend would have been better for Super Minis, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Color me entertained either way. Out of a nice long set of rollers, Got a pretty decent size, standard little double. Top guys are obviously going to be scrubbing the breath out of this thing. Should be good for super minis also. Then we land. We got another inside single, outside flat combo. This is in the contract a lot in this track. Good for passing though. I like it. Shouldn't be as one lined. We land. Looks like we got some nice mulchy loamy dirt through here i'm excited to see how this shapes up got her plowed up nice and deep and we got some pre-made chop put in there it looks like a little skiddy action it's gonna get rough through here i love it we got pre-made chop and plowed up nice and deep all the way through this sweeper it's gonna be gnarly this is reminding me way too much of throwback daytona then we come through here. You guessed it, a little inside out option. There's still some elevation out there on the outside, but inside's a little bit higher. Maybe people can ice out the outside, go lower, make a pass. 
here I was thinking they were gonna scrub this. I didn't know it was on the other side. Right on the other side, we got some more rollers. If I had to guess, fast line would probably be to huck this, at least one roller in, jump in and double out. Then we got another standard double. No supercross triples out here, just doubles. No choice, a little bit more tame. We got more classes out here than just pros. And it's hybrid, no choice. So we don't need supercross whoops, supercross triples. Doubles will do just fine. Laying this double, got some more mulch mixed in, plowed up nice. It's basically an outdoor with the plow job. Then we come up to the section I've been most excited to see. We go up and out of the NASCAR track, out of the fences and up top. All for the NASCAR. It's steep. Got a straight up little mini hill climb out of here. Single on an angle. Hopefully nobody smacks this thing, no choice up out of NASCAR onto a flat spot up here. Not much going on on this side of the fence. Super cool how they're utilizing this entire facility though. Can't say enough, this dirt is titty city. It's gonna be good. Got a little mulch mixed in. Midwest is always good anyway. I like the combo. Right here's about to drop back down onto the NASCAR track. It is wet. It's sticky. It's gonna get gnarly up here. Not gonna have much of a view from all the way over there, but definitely gonna be rough city up here. Round the little sweeper, back down, nice steep little drop off, back down onto the NASCAR track, back into the grass, Daytona, where you at? Sweeper, inside, outside, options, stop me if you've heard that before. This is probably the coolest corner on the track, nice banked corner on the NASCAR track. This is pretty sick. We're gonna have to get down there and get a better look. Not that I would know what it's like to set up a bike for Supercross anyway, but it is going to be tough to set up suspension out here. We got tons of pre-made bumps. It's plowed up and we got steep jumps. You're not going to find a setup that's going to work perfect everywhere out here. Here we go. We had a little press day action. They're making my point for me. Look at that dirt. Nice and tacky. Perfect rut. This is going to be sick. Out of our press day rut corner, inside outside option. This turn's gonna be sick. The bank is serious. Probably should rut up a little bit too. We got good plowed dirt through here. I really like the looks of this track. And I am not bought and paid for. I got myself out here. This is just my opinion. Out of the bank turn, into another little option. We got some pre-built bumps on the inside. Suspension tuners are gonna be looking for the nearest bridge to jump off. It's gonna be gnarly to tune a bike out here more daytona old school grass style into another single i do like the looks of this track but they sure did copy and paste a lot of obstacles this is the same one right here as over there this is actually the same section as over there option single into a double option single into a double should flow nicely though land the standard copy and paste double wide open through here through the infield single into another single we might see some more mad skills wheelie scrubbing action like we did on the way to the finish line last weekend in charlotte that'd be sick it's pretty cool how even the sink the simple obstacle like a single can showcase how sick these guys are and how much bike skill they got love to see it i am a liar it's actually not a single single it's a single and then another jump into some more rollers they're not going to be able to jump all the way over maybe a little triple double combo we still might see some wheelie scrubbing so it'll still be sick to watch but yeah, I've got false advertising out here. Fake news. Out of the Roller National, back through the infield, into this corner. We've got some insanely sticky dirt. Like, look at this stuff. You could, like, pick this up one piece at a time. It's going to get gnarly, choppy, really sticky, rutted, I'm sure. Into this little flat 180. We got the copy and paste obstacle, the inside single. I don't blame them, though. That's by far the best way to make a flat corner have more than one line. Should be good out of this little inside out option 180 spits you back out onto the start straight right where it connects back into the flat 180 sweeper first turn and back into the double double into the tunnel and that's about it we got here mechanics manager's tower where super fan always gets his access that he doesn't that he's not qualified for no choice and yeah y'all that's a lap here at chicago land speedway kind of had to rush it got here late didn't know i was going to be able to do track walk but here we are we made it hope you guys enjoyed thank you all for watching and got some action coming up shortly